Hi guys. A while back I did a video on how to transfer image onto Word using Asetone. And I also did a video on how I do my layouts. And um, I was thinking, well, I used Photoshop in that video. And maybe not everybody has Photoshop. So I was searching the web and I found this program. It's called Inkscape. Inkscape is free to use and you can use it on Mac and you can use it on a PC. And it's fairly simple to use. Um, one thing is when you download Inkscape, I'm going to put a link down below. And when you download Inkscape, the first time you open Inkscape, it may or maybe not take a long time to open the first time. But when you open the second time, it's not going to be that long time. And I want to say I'm sorry if my English is bad. I'm from Sweden, so uh, I hope you will understand what I'm saying. And also, if the sound is bad, well, I'm using this on an old PC. So, with that start, with that said, I want to start by showing you how to do the layout. And there's one thing you can do this layout on one piece of paper, but I'm gonna do. Say I'm going to do a sign that is in Swedish measurements, 60 centimeters long. I don't know what's that in inch, but you can probably Google it. Uh, 60 centimeters will not fit on one piece of paper. So I'm going to do a sign for whatever I'm going to do in 60 centimeters. And therefore I'm going to do this in two pieces. I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. Enough talking. Uh, <laughs> the first thing you want to do is go over here to File. And you're going to press it and you're going to go down to Clean Document and Properties. Now I'm going to press. Here you can see this is the standard E4 paper. And uh, the first thing you want to do is put it in Landscape mode. And the units I'm using is centimeters. You can use pixels, inches. Um, by the way, we can see what 60 centimeters is. If I put this over here in the width of 60 centimeters, and the height is going to be around 20 centimeters. Now, Let's see if we can put this in inches and see what it is. It's about 23 inches and 7 inches high, I think. Well, you can see what I mean. So, with that said, that's not here. Now you can see this box here. And you can zoom out and zoom in by using the key on the keyboard that is plus and minus. If you want to zoom out, you use the minus. And uh, you can zoom in. I can use the plus over here. Okay. Now we're going to put some text on this, and we're going to do it by clicking this one. And I'm going to just put in the box here, and I'm going to write um, wood, and I double click it, and I go up here to. I'm going to see if 400 will fit in this box. Yes, it will. So, after I've done this, I press this one, and you see this is marked. So that means when you have this little arrow here, you can move it around wherever you want to put it. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, over here. Now, when you print this out, you have to print this out on a laser printer. If you're going to iron it on the wood, the heat, or you're going to use the acetone. In this, I'm going to do with an iron. I'm going to use heat to transfer it on the wood. But I want to save some toner on my laser printer. So that's why I'm not going to print all this black. 
I'm just going to do the outline. Okay, if you want to print it black, you can print it black, but I want to save tone because I'm going to paint the letters after. So I'm not going to have this black. So this is how the way you do it. Over here you have this panel. You have to have this marked like this one with this arrows over here. And you go up over here. You have fill, stroking, stroke style. Now the first one here, when you see this X over here, it says no paint. And that's what you want to do. You want to put it in white. So when you press this, you see, it disappears. But after you press this, you go to stroke paint. And you're going to choose, use this one, flat color. And when you press this, voila. You see? Now this looks a little bit bluish on my screen. But if you zoom in by using the key plus on the keyboard, when you get close, you will see it's black. So, don't worry about it. Uh, you could go to stroke style and you could put over here if you want to have a thicker line. I think it's a little bit. Well, we have to see. If I put this in five, we'll see what happens. Nope. Over here. <laughs> I think it's a little bit. Yes. So. Then you can do the thickness of it, but I think this would do. Now, if I'm gonna transfer this on to wood, I have to flip this horizontal so it goes backwards. Because when you put this down on the wood, the graphics on the wood, the letters on the wood, it's going to be in the right way after you transfer it. So don't think so much about it. Just, just do this horizontal. And that's all there is. And I'm going to show you how. Well, you have to mark it with this. Then you go up to objects. And you go down to flip horizontal. And you press it. That's it. And now you can print this. Just go to file and print. And then, depending on your printer, you may have to do some setups or something like that. But when they print, they print it in two pieces of paper. If this was longer, it's going to maybe take three, three pieces of paper. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, maybe I'm going to do a video on how to transfer this onto wood using an uh, iron by heat uh, and not the way that I did before using the acetone. Uh, and I hope you understand my English and I hope this video comes to good use. Thank you so much guys. Bye.